Thank you very much. My name is Sandras, and I'd like to emphasize that it's Sandra with an S at the end. So whatever you do, don't leave out the last S because it makes the biggest difference. It's my first time in the United States. I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to pick up the American accent. I've got two more days. I'm sure I'll pick it up. I'm here to share with you a few things about Africa and entrepreneurship in Africa. I love Africa, I love entrepreneurship. These are the two things that I love most after my wife and kids. I, I love entrepreneurship because I believe that second to getting an education, entrepreneurship made the biggest difference in my life. Entrepreneurship makes big difference in many people's lives because entrepreneurs create jobs and they build economies. So I started out selling sweets at primary school, to selling booze at varsity, and um, now, I, after graduating, I started a web dev company. Now I do what I absolutely love, which is education. I'm a co-founder of a company called Africa Trust Academy, which is dedicated to inspiring and educating people for economic transformation. Our intention is to impact a billion people in personal finance. I'm sure many of you know about Africa. And I'm also certain that what most of you know about Africa is outdated, incomplete, or just completely incorrect. First of all, Africa is not a country. <laughs> there are 54 countries in Africa. They're all different. They speak different languages. They speak English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Arabic. And where there was Ebola was actually in three of those 54 countries. And they all are different and they do things differently. There are many amazing cities, amazing countries, and amazing things like Cape Town, South Africa was the number one de destination according to New York Times in 2014. And when you get to visit me in Africa, you get to do amazing things like walk with the lions, white water rafting. And remember, when you visit me, this is not like every day lions are walking around on the streets. <laughs> we have to drive out and pay lots of money to do that. <laughs> There's no skiing in Africa. And we got food, lots of food. I tell my kids that, hey, finish your food, because there's somebody that's hungry in the US right now. <laughs> We got fast trains and amazing highways, okay? And Africa has got 29 billionaires. Four of the 10 fastest growing economies in, uh, in the world are in Africa. One in three Africans is middle class. Africa has had eight female presidents. And Rwanda has the highest number of female parliamentarians at 64%. Africa has had seven Nobel laureates from nine different countries. Now, this is an interesting picture. You see the black man? <laughs> That's the president of the United States. This picture was taken in 2014. And the white man is the president of Zambia in Africa. Then. <laughs> so, not all Africans are black. Now, this is not to say that it's all roses and everything is fine. There are no problems in Africa. Problems are there. But the Africa we have is very different from the Africa you see in the media. When it comes to entrepreneurship, there are a few things that are working. For instance, we have lots of opportunity and lots of innovation. We have entrepreneurs who are using technology to solve problems for millions of people and the sectors that provide a lot of opportunity are uh, uh, finance and technology, agriculture, health, um, infrastructure development, and, in, uh, and information technology. The other thing is that we have m many young new entrepreneurs that are choosing entrepreneurship as opposed to it being the last resort when they can't get a job. And there are many cities now, like Cape Town, which has a lot of tech, a lot of engineers, and Nairobi, a lot of tech hubs, doing amazing things. And the amount of innovation and opportunity is going to increase with free internet access with such initiatives like Internet.org by Facebook and Project Loon by Google. Then now, slowly, although this is still a problem, slowly 
money is starting to flow into Africa for entrepreneurship, mainly through impact investors. And the time of aid is over. For instance, in 2010, in 2010 Africans living outside of Africa sent $52 billion back to Africa compared to $43 billion in aid. On the other hand, there are a few things that are not working. We have very limited access to finance. The available finance is still very, very expensive. For instance, my company right now, Africa Trust Academy, is trying to raise funding, and it's very difficult to raise that in Africa because you still get lots of um, institutions that would ask for huge collateral, or they give you loans and, and give you um, with interest as high as 40% that you have to start paying immediately. There is very little government support. A lot of governments are talking a big game, but still do nothing about entrepreneurship, but they talk about creating jobs. So there is need for something to happen there. And then there are infrastructure challenges. Communication, data costs are still very high in Africa. Transportation costs are still very high in Africa. For instance, it's cheaper for me to fly from Cape Town to Dubai onto another continent 10 hours away than it is for me to fly from Cape Town to Zambia, which is just four hours away. But despite all this, there are few entrepreneurs, actually many entrepreneurs that are making things happen despite the high or difficult odds. And a few have managed to raise millions of dollars in international funding. And the list keep growing. There are a lot of amazing startups. I'll pick just a few. Here are some of the top few startups in Africa. We have Off Grid Electric, which provides solar electricity to tens of thousands of homes at less than 20 cents a day. With companies like Zona, which enables millions of people to send and receive money while creating entrepreneurship. Snapscan is a mobile payment solution that enables merchants to, use, to take payments just from cell phones, with just a QR code. And Brick is a rugged, self-powered mobile uh, Wi-Fi device that was developed in Kenya. The Spinlet is the only biggest online gaming platform, uh, the biggest music platform in Africa, and Gamso is the biggest game developer to come out of Africa. I believe that this is the time for Africa. I believe that there are great opportunities, win-win opportunities for entrepreneurs, investors, and countries and communities in Africa. And it's time for investors and entrepreneurs to con outside Africa to connect with entrepreneurs and organizations and individuals in this new Africa. Because we are going to transform people's lives and change the continent. I believe that all this will be made possible through the values of Startup Grind, which are educate, inspire, and connect. Thank you very much.